Hey YouTube, this is CP Cather here. I got my Bushmaster AR-15 right here. I'm going to go through and show you how to uh, disassemble and reassemble. And also some vital areas that need to be cleaned in order to maintain the operation of this weapon. You know, to, miss, uh, to prevent misfires, uh, misfeeds, things like that, double feeds. Alright, well let's get started. First things first, you're going to want to make sure there's nothing in the weapon. Alright, breach is clear. The magazine, everything's good. All right. Once you verify that your weapon is clear, start with pushing these little pins right here. You can just push them all the way through like this, or grab them on the other side. It's kind of just personal, personal preference. All right. Once you pull these pins out, just separate your bottom half and your upper half, upper receiver and lower. Right. First thing you're gonna do in this assembly is pull these. Pull your charging handle back and remove the bolt carrier. Charging handle should drop down toward the back, riding in there with these grooves. All right. Once you get your charging or your bolt carrier group out, you're going to remove your firing pin or tanning pin. Put it so it don't get lost. You're going to drop your firing pin out. Should fall right out. If it doesn't, you have a problem. And then push in your bolt. Turn this to the side and just shake it out. should come right out. Pull your bolt out and boom, you got it. the uh, upper assembly disassembled. Alright, so after you have your upper assembly disassembled, you want to go back here and pull out your buffer tube. Your buffer and your recoil spring. You can clean it this way, oil all this stuff, and clean up inside of the buffer tube itself. Alright, I'm going to start with the, I'm going to put that back in there because mine's pretty clean. Alright, a couple places people don't clean, which I would, I would advise going out and getting a dental pick, just like this, so you can reach down in here and scrape all the nasty carbon. Down in here is where your bolt, excuse me, not your bolt, but your firing pin rests. So if carbon gets built up down in there, your firing pin won't strike your bullet all the way. So make sure you get down in here and really scrape that carbon out. Other... On the flip side, your bolt rests in here, and there's a bunch of carbon buildup back there, and if it builds up, it's not going to operate right because it, it, it'll it jam this part up, and it won't um, push all the way back and come back. It'll cause misfires and stuff like that. Um, this back here really gets dirty because this is where all that gas is injected back after you fire. All right. Um, another place, make sure inside here that that thing is always silver. It should always be silver. Um, I don't know if you can see it through the video, but just keep it clean. Keep keep this area really clean. You need to be able to come in there and not have put your finger in there and not have anything on your hand. All right. And then besides that, just make sure this whole area is clean up in here. Make sure your charging handle isn't filthy. Firing pin. Make sure there's no carbon right here and up in here. Make sure it's just clean. I mean, mine looks brand new. It's have been through 2,500 rounds. You have a little wear and tear on bolts and pieces where it used to be chrome and then the heat treated it but it's still smooth as a whistle um, same for this pot right here I keep mine clean uh, to clean this little part right here just grab your little uh, dental pick and just push it down and then just scrape all around it like that also another thing people don't really know is to clean up under this spring you know, up in here needs to be clean as well. This is what inject ejects your bullets or your shells. Excuse me. And all you do just make sure you keep your little pin hand or keep your pin where you know where it's going to be, and then just push it back in. If I can get it to go in, there it goes. All right, now for reassemble. What you're going to do? Stick your bolt in first. All right. Make sure your little um, your pressure thing right here is about five o'clock. Then you're gonna take your pin that holds the bolt in and just drop it right down in there. Pull your bolt out, spin this around to where it's like that. Drop your firing pin, just drop it in there, and then push your firing pin or chaining pin right back in, just like that. All right, next you're gonna slide this. Put it. You're gonna start. You're going to start it on the bottom down here 
and find where the groove is to where it slides into. All right, you're gonna pull it out, press your gas tube into here, and just push it all back in at the same time. Then all you have to do is reconnect these two parts. Pin to go in. There it went. All right, and shake it around. If you hear a clinging noise, that means your firing pin isn't in all the way. But if it, you don't hear anything, you should be good to go. But the clinging noise just means your firing pin retaining pin is behind or in front of your firing pin, and it didn't lock down all the way in place. Now she's ready to go.